We're going to come for having number two. Alright. So, my reminder video made me make this video. So, before anybody gets their thong in a twist, or your boxers cut your shit the wrong way, or if you wear the boxers that I don't wear, where your pecker magically finds his way out of the hole, this video is important. Okay, so one, a lot of people don't take the gifts they've been given. And yes, I'm going to enjoy my ice cream while I film this video. So deal with it. A lot of people don't take the gifts they've been given and use them to the full extent of utilization. Alright, y'all like that, right? Utilization, very big word. But, I've never been given gifts. I'm making this video specifically as a cautionary tale and a slap to the face to one of my nephews who basically threw his um, life and NFL chances in the trash can because he didn't want to listen. So if you're out there and you know who you are because I deal with your dog every day, you know, you will look back when you're my age and be like, damn, my uncle was right. I should have been listening instead of trying to be the fuck it, I do what I want guy. So now that I'm picking on him, but I'm picking on all of you who are the fuck it, I do what I want person. I, I'm going to explain that to you. See, so when you're a fuck it, I do what I want person. And damn the consequences. You know, you can't complain. When you're someone who has been given a golden opportunity. And I mean, like, let's say tomorrow. Despite the fact that I just used an F-bomb in this video. The Disney calls me and say, James, Sony's got everything under, under wraps. We need you to play Scarlet Spider. We like your outfit. We're going to fly you down to Florida or up to Canada or California, wherever we're going to film it, and custom make you a Scarlet Spider suit for Into the Spider Verse, which has been on delay if you guys are up to speed. There's no way in hell that I would turn Disney down. My semester is almost over, and I can miss a semester because I'm really close to graduating. So if I miss a semester now, it's not going to make a fuck. But if they say that, and it's like, yo, we're going to give you this shot at a Disney Spider-Verse movie, and if you're successful, you know, you may get another shot. Well, I've never been given an opportunity. So guess what? College will take a back seat, and my ass will be on the first plane to wherever the hell Disney's sending me to get fitted for the outfit, and I'm ready to work that day. Not the next day, not the day after that, that day. I'm going to be ready to go. Give me the script, let's get to rehearsal, let's do this thing. That's how bad I want this. That's how bad I need this. That's how bad I've never been given the opportunities that a lot of you people get. I didn't play sports in school. Because the wrestling that I wanted to do was not the wrestling that they were doing. Because they were doing Roman Greco. And I wanted to do WCW, WWE wrestling. That wasn't an option. So I didn't want to do that. I don't think the Officer Roman Act did not helm me for the four years of high school. Because he did. How you doing, Officer Roman Act? Now, I don't know if he's still alive. But... That was an opportunity that I didn't need because I didn't want to do that wrestling. Now, had they had some martial arts scouts or a martial art team at CHS, I was the only one who wasn't aware of that if they had it because I was like a martial artist. And in fact, me and a couple of other martial artists almost got suspended for fighting in the breezeway while just spiring, not fighting. But, you know, uh, Mr. Leatherwood, who didn't like me anyway because I'm mixed, decided, hey, 
and give his kids some more problems. And he did. But for you athletes, people who are like scouted, first and foremost, martial artists and wrestlers are the superior athletes. Because we use all our body parts a lot more than y'all do. No offense to you other sports enthusiasts. But for the most part, you see a wrestler, or you see a martial artist, sometimes come, come in doubles. In the mid fighter, I was never given an opportunity. Even in the 90s, in my youth, the UFC didn't have my weight class until 2010. And by then, I was in the Army, so there was no getting out of the Army. Once you're in, your ass is in. So, now they have it. There's a big-ass scar on my head. They probably would make sure that I would never, ever get into an MMA ring. Ever. So, my nephew, he was good. Football. Smart Money would have said, if he would have stayed on the path he was on, he would have been on that NFL draft a few nights ago. However, and this is specifically for the black community, some people don't take their gifts and their opportunities when presented. Alright? They don't. You young black people, this is specifically part of this video, specifically for you. Stop trying to be down. Stop trying to be stupid. Take the opportunity and run with it. If I was given the opportunity that I wanted way back in the 90s, I wouldn't be here. My channel wouldn't be so small and everybody would know my name. My name would be Household. People would know that when they seen James Williams Jr., they seen an ass-kicking SOB. We're ready to go. Now that I'm trying to make acting my full-time thing. I'm only going to college because I need a job. The acting studio in Virginia has not given me an opportunity in 19 damn years. Now, I've been at this business for a long time. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I licked it. I own it. Food line brand. I tell you guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to give you all 99.9. .9. And the thing is, you know, I'm sick of people who have good opportunities and don't take them. Where people like me, 19 years, man, 19 years of struggling, I got 89 followers here. And I love you all. But for all of you who have been gifted and blessed to have opportunities and don't take them, I ain't got no sympathy for you because you're stupid. Let Disney call me tomorrow. Shh. My ass is on the first flight out. I'm like, yo, dude, let's do this. Like, we want you to be Scarlet Spider and Into the Spider Verse. You're about the same size as Tom Holland. You're probably not the same built because he's probably like bigger than me because I'm only five three and a half, and I weigh every bit of buck one twenty. So you know, um, one twenty five soaking wet. But you know, given an opportunity, especially something I want to do. Something that's going to make me happy. It ain't about the money for me for this acting thing. I mean, that money's going to help me live. But for me, it's about making movies because movies make me happy. And that's what I want. I want to be happy. I don't give a shit if I'm broke. I just want to be happy. I'm going to be broke. It ain't the first time. I've been broke most of my life. I've been poor. So if I'm getting good money, believe me, it won't be spent on shit that I don't need. And it won't be spent on my family because they so don't really take care of me. Maybe one or two members, for sure. I probably help out my friends more than I help out my family because my friends have helped me out more than my family have. And y'all all know who you are. But yeah, opportunity, man. When you get that, you don't squander it. You don't throw it away. You don't turn your back on what could be your ticket to not just success, but ultimate bliss and glory. I wish I played football in high school. But they was always telling me, get your weight up, get your weight up. I can't gain weight. I didn't gain weight until I hit the military. 
So I don't know if they gave me steroids or anything, but I ate a bunch of sandwiches. But I could not gain weight to save my life until I joined the military. I stayed 120 pounds since high school. Until I got into the military, I was still 120 pounds. My highest weight has been 130. Now that I had my hip replacement, they don't want me going over 125. So my ultimate goal is to get back to 125. I'm at 120 or 119 right now. So my ultimate goal was to go back up to 125. And they said I can keep that weight for the rest of my life as long as I don't get obese. Uh, excuse me. And I stay in shape. So that's the plan. Cheers. So hopefully, I'm reaching out to you young people right now. And before I do that, first I want to give a special thanks to Courtney because had he not um, convinced me calmly to cosplay, I probably wouldn't have the guts to want to do it again and again. And I loved it, and I'm going to show you why. I do not know this kid. I have no idea who this kid is. But I will say, come on, picture. This kid's joy on his face made me want to suit up again. So I'm going to suit up again. And you know, I made a couple of kids cry. And they almost made me cry because it scared the hell out of me. But like I said, if tomorrow, I know this is a long shot, it's never going to happen, but it might, it might, but let's say tomorrow, tomorrow, Disney contacts me by way of Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, and one of them big execs said, you need to report to Cho Airport at 10 a.m. I'll be at Cho Airport at 930 and I will get my ticket and I will fly wherever the hell they want to go. Just like, look, all you need is a couple pair of pants and a shirt and clean underwear for like two days. Guess what? My ass is out. I'm straight out. Wherever they send me, that's where I'm going. And why? Because I have never been given an opportunity in my life. And this may be my only shot. So I'm going to take it. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to take it. That being said, all of you who swander or throw away your gifts and your opportunities, shame on you. But I guarantee you, if I had the opportunities that y'all have, psh, no question, I'm taking it. It's comfort number two, BC and you.